now I'd like to go off again so what we're going to do we're going to come around here again the boy yeah good boy really starting to think well, what, what, what is going on here so I'm starting to get through to him good boy he nice transition you don't have to fly off good boy head up jaw set jaw set Whoop. Yes, good boy. Very good. A little bit of resentment there. A little bit of resentment. Falling out to the left. Look, I can't get him out to the right. Oh, yes, I can. Can't. Uh, his whole body is. His whole body is out here to the left. You won't stand still for very long, I hope she comes up quickly. Good boy. Right, that's it. Good. Now we can't have that. You know, that was just totally, totally crooked. Where's this car going? I wish they'd just come on. Oh dear. They, they meant to be helpful and they're just in the way. I wanted to, them to go. Never mind. They mean well. Alright, now we have to try this again. I must stick in the left hand this time. Because he just, he just doesn't know what I mean. There, there a good boy. Because it, he's just like Ron in that regard. He's there's only a right hand side of his, his mouth, no left. Now he thinks he'll go shooting off again. So I'm going to balance him with my body and the way I rise and the angle of my pelvis, knees, hips, ankles, everything. Now I use my body to hold horses, not my hands. Of course I do need some reins, but it's mostly with the body. Now I'm moving him over here, which is not happy with, not happy with. Now I'll let him go a little bit. So I don't know what that means, but I am not happy with that. I want to go back on the left hand side of the road. Now he's like riding a prancing stallion. He thinks he's on the way home. get away. Now because he's eight years old it's not like a baby that you know if he was four you know although we'd be doing the same things it'd be a slightly different approach. I mean he's big enough, strong enough and old enough to fall over the curbs. Come on lady. They do make me laugh. Right, I'm walking on. Walk on. Whoa. It's 
so anxious, so anxious. Right, walking on. And hasn't got a clue about the left hand side of his mouth. Not a clue. Not a clue. So I'm going to put the camera down here, show you what, with my leg on, keeping his quarters from falling in. And you know, I'm just suggesting he comes round like this because it, you can't have a sophisticated hand in the neck at this stage. Alright, good, good, good boy. Now, now, right, now come round here. Now, if you think you're going to hurry home, you are mistaken. Because the days of you hurrying home, I see now what you do, are gone. So I'm going to, um, for the rest of the ride, I'm going to ride him on the right hand side of the road. Because he just, he doesn't understand that. So you wonder how he gets on if he's ridden in a school on the left rein, because there's no left hand side to him. Right, now I'm going to trot. We're not going home at 100 miles an hour. So, we're going down this path, and we're going to the left, to the right. I can use my body to really stop him. Well, if I wanted to, I'd stop him dead and no hand, which is amazing because we haven't got a mouth yet. Good boy. So, without using any pressure really on his mouth more than I would normally for the trot. Um, unless there's an emergency that your body posture can adjust the trot oops to get it where you like it where you want it now when he lets go mentally and he relaxes mentally you know his trot is going to feel like his own won't recognize the step just feel like a different horse does he's, he, he, he can come behind the bridle like he, somebody's done too much kind of fiddling so now look he just comes behind the bridle you know like that so there's nothing in my hands you know that's no good either so you know I have to I'll be working on that because behind the bridle is another form of escape from the action of the bit which has been inappropriate. But anyway, at least we're not going home at 100 miles an hour. But because he's so anxious, he's broken into quite a sweat because he's finding this riding business totally stressful. Very stressful. And whereas he shouldn't even be warm with that small amount of work that we've done, He's actually dripping, uh, he's dripping with anxiety.